Hello everyone and welcome to the Cotswold Breeze channel. Now it's uh, second week of March in the UK, still way too cold out there and certainly way too windy to be opening up beehives. And be aware of that, we're all very anxious to get in there and see how our bees are, but if we open up the brew box at this time of year, all we're going to do is damage. So just go out there, check they've got enough food, leave them alone until it gets warmer. While we're waiting for the bees to warm up, let's have a chat about something that's absolutely amazing. And that's the waggle dance or the way bees communicate, one of the ways bees communicate. Now when you look at a hive of bees like this, you see all the bees flying out and it all looks very random and disorganised and they're all coming in and going out and it's a crazy, crazy world. But bees aren't like that. They're very organised creatures. If every bee went out and just looked for what she could find, some would be really successful, some wouldn't find anything and some would find pretty average stuff. So what they do is they send out scout bees. Those scout bees go and have a look around, they find the best forage for what the hive requires at that particular point in time, and they come back to the hive. Now when they come back, somehow they've got to communicate to their fellow sisters where everything is. They can't send an email round or a memo in, as it we would have done in the old days. They've got to find a better way of communicating. And the way they do it is by interpretive dance. The dance is incredible. But we're not just talking about one dance, we're talking about three different types of dance. The first dance is what we call the round dance. Well, I say what we call the round dance, actually a very intelligent gentleman by the name of Carl von Frisch actually interpreted these dances and he was a Nobel Prize winner. So we take his research and move forward with that. Now the round dance is a dance that the bee will do if she's found something that's worth collecting that's less than about 10 yards or in new money 10 metres away. And she'll come back to the hive, she'll dance in a circle and you can see from this diagram the way in which she dances and you can see why it's called the round dance it is pretty much a circle and that tells her sisters there's food forage really close by she'll also release some chemicals that create aromas that the bees can detect on their antennae and so food really close by dances in a circle between about 10 yards and 40 yards she'll dance what we call an interim dance and that's halfway between a round dance and the full blown waggle dance. And here you can see from this diagram the way in which she will dance. The closer it is to 10 yards, then the closer it will be to a round dance. And as the forage gets further away, she'll actually make sure that what she does is she gets closer and closer to doing a full blown waggle dance. So they can interpret it on those distances. And that's all very clever and ingenious. If you think about it, 40 yards, it's not that far away. They could probably find it reasonably well by themselves without too much difficulty. Where it gets really complex is when we move further away. Now don't forget, bees can fly up to three miles, in exceptional circumstances even further. And so somehow she's got to say, the forage is more than 40 yards away, but less than three miles away. And where is it? And that's quite complex. And the way in which she organises that is by doing the waggle dance. Now here's a diagram of a waggle dance. And what you can see is upright on the frame, that's where the sun is. So the way I think about it, it's a bit like holding a map in front of you. What you're doing is you're walking horizontally, but you've got your map vertically in front of you. And that's exactly how bees do it. So upright on the frame, that's always where the sun is at the particular point in time. She'll then begin her dance. And it's the line across the middle of the dance that's really important. The angle of that line to the sun is the angle that they've got to fly. And we know the sun appears to move through the sky and the bees will adjust for that as that happens. So that gives them direction. The length of the line gives them distance. And as she's dancing that line, she waggles. She waggles her abdomen. And that gives them an idea of actually the quality and the quantity of the forage. So the better it is, the more she waggles, the more enthusiastic her dance. And not only that, she'll bring a sample back as well. 
and you'll see her sisters around her also taking on the dance. And it's a great thing to see. Next time you've got your hive open, especially on a warm day, you'll see it. Look out for it. Don't mistake it for trembling bees. If you've got hundreds of bees that are trembling, that's a sign of disease. What we're talking about here is a few individual bees definitely dancing. So let's end this video by taking our partners for the waggle dance and look at this bee dancing in a video that I took in a hive last year and it's very easy to see. She's dancing away, telling all her sisters where the food is, and the nice thing now is you can have a go at interpreting it yourself. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video and learned something with regard to the waggle dance. It's a really great thing. Bees are totally amazing creatures. If you did enjoy it, please give us a thumbs up. It really helps us. And also, if you're not subscribed, we'd be ever so grateful for some more subscribers. In the meantime, I'm going to go and finish off my cup of tea, see if there's a bit of cake around the place, which I'm sure there is, and just say to you, enjoy your bees, enjoy your beekeeping. Until next time, have fun with bees, and we'll see you on the next video.